right, so we're going to talk about converting different units of measurement into other units. What does the word convert mean? If I convert something, what is that, DJ? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're converting. When you convert a measurement, you're expressing it or renaming it into a different unit. So let's talk about what that means. Sometimes you'll hear, I said rename a minute ago. Sometimes you'll hear it said to rename it as a different unit instead of convert it. Those words can be used interchangeably. You can use either one. So let's talk about measuring length, the length of something. These, the metric unit of length is a what? Does anybody know? It's a meter. So the meter is the metric unit that we use to measure length, how tall or how long something is. It's the name of the unit that we use. So this is a meter stick. It's one meter long. Okay? So to think about a meter, a meter's about the same height as a counter. A countertop is about a meter. If you if you're like an average size, then if you spread your arms apart, that's about a meter. If you're taller, then it's going to be longer than a meter. For an adult, it's about half, like from the nose, your nose over to the tip of one of your fingers. On either side, kids typically a meter is about your wingspan, or if you. So adults is two meters. Adults are about two, yes. Okay, so that just kind of gives you an idea about how big a meter is. But is everything that big? No. So what if we have something really small? What unit would we use? Centimeters. 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 Look at this prefix. What does this prefix right here mean? 100. What does it mean, Tatum? 100. It takes 100 centimeters or whatever other unit you're using. I'm going to write the word unit here because you might not always be measuring length. You might be measuring the weight of something or its mass or you could be measuring the volume, how much liquid is in something. We'll talk about those more. But it takes one centi unit to equal one unit. Okay? So it takes a lot of little ones to add up to one big. So about how big, this is a centimeter right here. That's about the width of your pinky nail. Your pinky is about one centimeter. Okay? What if I wanted to measure from here to the other side of the river? Whoa. What unit would I measure? Would I want to use centimeters for that? No. no. Would, use would I even want to use meters? No, you want to use kilometers. 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 Okay, so here's another prefix for you. Hang on. Let me get this fixed here. Yes, there are. All right, so this prefix kilo, it takes 1,000 meters or whatever unit you're measuring in to equal one kilo unit. Okay, so that's the bigger unit. It's, we have to put 
1,000 of them together, 1,000 meters together is equal one kilometer, okay? So we're going to do some conversions here in just a minute so it'll make a little bit more sense. But that kind of gives you some vocabulary to think about. Yes, ma'am. Okay, a kilometer is 1.6 miles, so a little over one and a half miles equals a kilometer. Okay. So the, okay. All right. All right. So let's let's put this in action. Let's let's make it make some sense of it. So if I had a table, my table had some distances. Excuse me. Let's see if we can convert from kilometers to meters. So if I had one kilometer, how many meters would that be? 1,000. What if I had two kilometers? That's 2,000 meters. All I'm doing here is I'm saying one times... 1,000, because I know it takes 1,000 meters, and then two. equals 1,000. Here I have 2 kilometers. I know it takes 1,000 meters to make a kilometer. So 2 times 1,000 is 2,000. All right. What if I had 3 kilometers? 3,000 meters. What if I had seven kilometers? Seven thousand. Just doing seven times one thousand. What if I had seventy? Seventy thousand. Very good. Yeah, go ahead quickly, okay? All right. So, what if I had this? If I had one kilometer and 500 meters, how many meters is that? How much, Graceland? Yeah, one kilometer. I know that that is equal to 1,000 meters. And then I have 500 more meters. So that would equal 1,500 meters. All right. What if I had five kilometers and 500 meters? How much would that be? Five thousand five hundred. Maggie, how much would that be? Um, oh, that would be five thousand five hundred. Very good. Five kilometers is equal to. 5,000 meters, and then we have 500 more meters, so if I add those together, that would be 5,500 meters. All right, I'll give you another one. What if I had five kilometers or kilometers plus 2,500 Meters. I want you to work that on your work map. Five kilometers plus 2,500 meters. Do we have the same unit? Are our units the same? I have kilometers in your math folder. And I have meters. Can I put those two together? Yes. Just like they are? No. 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 Yeah, I'm going to have to take the kilometers or kilometers and make them into meters. So how many meters are there in five kilometers, Ainsley? Five thousand. 
5,000 meters. That's the same distance. And I have 2,500 more. So how many meters is that if I put those together? 7,500. 7, All right. What if I wanted to name that in kilometers and meters in a mixed unit with both? How many kilometers are in 7,500? There's seven kilometers, and how many meters? 500. 500, very good. Okay, so those are the exact same, represent the exact same distance. All right, let's try another one. Erase what you've got. What if I had this? What if I had 10 kilometers and I want to take away 3 kilometers, 140 meters? Mm, now we're getting a little more tricky. a few different ways we can solve that. I want to see how many different ways we can come up with to solve. Maggie, are you just going to play with your water bottle or are you going to, going to pay attention up here, sweetheart? Tatum, what are you thinking? How did you solve? I uh, made 10 uh, kilometers, uh, 10,000. Okay, so 10 kilometers is the same as 10,000 meters. Okay. And I made 3 kilometers, uh, 3,000. Okay. Okay, so you put, made 3 kilometers, 140 meters into 3,140 meters. Okay, and then what did you do? I accepted one. Okay, so you just subtracted. Okay, and used regrouping to subtract. What did you get for your answer? Six thousand eight hundred sixty what? What unit do we have? Meters. Good. So we would do ten thousand minus three thousand one hundred forty. Zero minus zero is zero, but we can't subtract our tens. So Tatum said we would have to cross out the one, and we know how to regroup. We'd have to borrow across until we got ten for our tens unit. 10 minus 4 is 6, 9 minus 1 is 8, 9 minus 3 is 6. So our answer is 6,860 meters. Did anybody do differently than that? What would you do, DJ? Um, I, I didn't do that, but I did like that, but I didn't write down all that. Okay, you just kind of did that part in your head? Mm -hmm. Okay. I knew that you could do 0, but you could mm -hmm. do Okay. 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 So you just used a mental math strategy to solve, but you did it basically the same way. Mm -hmm. All right. So what if someone did it like this? Same problem. 
10 kilometers minus 3 kilometers and 140 meters. They did this this morning. It said 9 kilometers, 1,000 meters. Are those, this? is this and this equal amounts? Yeah. And yeah, those equal the same amount. Then they did minus 3 kilometers, 140 meters. Okay, so then what they did is they said, okay, this is the same 9 kilometers and 3 kilometers. Those are the same units, so I can subtract those. 9 minus 3 is 6. And then they said, I can do 1,000 minus 140. And 1,000 minus 140 is 860 meters. Is six kilometers or kilometers, 860 meters, yes. the same distance as this right here? Yes. Yeah. 6,860 meters is equal to six kilometers and 860 meters. Okay, so that one was, that um, is another strategy that you could use. All right, let's do one more. Erase your work map. This time we're going to use meters and centimeters. How many centimeters does it take to make one meter? 100. 100. You hear cent? Cent tells you 100. How many cents does it take to make one dollar? 100. That's the way you can remember that. It takes 100 centimeters to make one meter. All right, so Sam practiced his long jump in PE. On his first attempt, he jumped one meter, 47 centimeters. On his second attempt, he jumped 98 centimeters. How much farther did Sam jump on his first attempt than his second attempt? So the first time, he jumped 1 meter, 47 centimeters. On the second attempt, he jumped 98 centimeters. How much farther did he jump the first time than he did the second time? Take a minute to solve that. Ainsley, how would you solve? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be 89, should be 90. You're correct, you would do 147 minus 98. Think about 98 is really close to what number? 100. It's really close to 100. So how much difference is there between 147 and 100, Tatum? 47, and then I need two more to get from 98 to 100. So 47 plus 2 is 40, yeah, 49 centimeters. Yeah, we could do the same thing with subtract, with borrowing. Yay, I got it right. Yeah, I did 147 minus 49. We could 
we could do the same thing. We could, we know we can't do 7 minus 8, so we would have to make our 4 into a 3 and the 7 into a 17. 17 minus 8 is 9. We can't do 3 minus 9, but we can do 13 minus 9, and 13 minus 9 is 4. So that would be 49 centimeters. He jumped 49 centimeters further. All right, I want you to get, we've got about 10 minutes. I want you to get your lesson one problem set. That's the page that we tore out of our learn book, page 143. And I want you to work as many of those problems as you can in the next 10 minutes. Page 143.